Floral Fantasy Botanical Gardens came to life. Established in 1936. Located between Orlando and Tampa. These 200 acres of gardens is sure to delight visitors and celebrities. It is close to heaven on earth and it is located in Winter Haven, Florida. Coming up, here on Around Florida, we're going to look at Cypress Gardens memories. Florida, the sunshine state of the United States of America. Filled with history and excitement. It has three largest cities and some large cities and even tourist spots. And this state also has some history to it and some famous landmark buildings and winter homes and everywhere you go, which is filled of surprises. And around you, You'll enjoy the best time in the Sunshine State in Around Florida. Today's Around Florida will be exploring the beautiful historic Cypress Gardens located in Winter Haven. Hello, Florida explorers and adventurers. Welcome again to Around Florida. Oh, wow! I'm at Winter Haven, Florida, and the reason why I was here, it is surrounded by a beautiful gardens, which was originally the Florida's first theme park, located between Orlando and Tampa. In this place called Winter Haven, I'm here today to talk about the look back of Cypress Gardens. That's right, Cypress Gardens was the Florida's first theme park dated back in the 1930s. Founded by a guy who wants to transform the Florida swamp to the beautiful gardens, and thus he created the first theme park of Florida. And that is why Cypress Gardens is close to heaven on earth. And now, here's a look back of Cypress Gardens. Let's go! In 1932, it was a desolate wasteland of forest and swamp. Worthless, except to one man who had a dream of turning that swamp into a garden paradise. His name was Dick Pope, and he wasn't afraid to take chances. With his wife Julie and a few dollar-a-day workers, they began to tame the immense maze of tropical growth, literally digging canals and planting the first flowers by hand. Over the course of three years, the landscape undertook a dramatic transformation until finally on January 2nd, 1936, Cypress Gardens welcomed its first visitors. Cypress Gardens. The beauty of Florida can be found among the ancient cypress trees. The ancient cypress trees stand like giant sentinels where more than 50 years ago, a dream was born that everyone would share Florida and its beauty with everyone. Here in this footage of the 1970s, a lot of tourists enjoy Cypress Gardens. Florida tourists and tourists from around the United States, they come to share the passion with Cypress Gardens.
And ever since then, Cypress Gardens continues to delight visitors from around the United States and indeed the world. At the turn of the century of the 1980s, Florida tourists continue to visit Cypress Gardens, just like they did with the Walt Disney World Resort and other Orlando attractions in the years past. Cypress Gardens is great to welcome home to where all the gardens flowing. In this place, the artist and photographer in each of us comes alive. It's a living stage where nature is the star performer, welcoming you into its beautiful home. Welcome home to where old friends will surround you. And new friends wait to meet you every day. Welcome home to see our gardens glowing, feel the new excitement grow. We know she's sure to steal your heart away. The holocultural staff that grows the plants on display at Cypress Gardens pays careful attention to color selection, design, and other landscaping factors to create these stunning surroundings. They make each vista a photograph kind of way as the holocultural staff had exceed beyond measure. But it's all worth it, because this sort of precision care and maintenance has produced some of its most amazing botanical achievements in the world. The Cypress Gardens horticultural staff did a great job taking good care of its gardens and its surroundings. They mow the lawn during the summer months, they trim and prune the gardens to make it look beautiful, and they take good care each and every place one step beyond. During their time at Cypress Gardens, they always take care of every place in Cypress Gardens for the visitors to enjoy for years to come. Cypress Gardens is not just the home of its beauty of its gardens itself, but it is also home to live entertainment shows as well. Everywhere you go around Cypress Gardens, you'll always find awesome live shows and live performances, even some awesome ski shows, which we will talk about that later, and live animal shows to cover. First up is the Ice Palace of Cypress Gardens, where visitors can enjoy this awesome ice skating show called Southern Ice, which was debuted in the late 1980s. Plus, there is also different ice skating shows that presented here, such as Moscow on Ice and Fairy Tales on Ice. Plus, Ice Around the World, where they present their skating techniques for its fabulous figure skating demonstrations that a visitor can be amazed. And people had a lot of memories watching this ice skating show here at Cypress Gardens. And this really brings back warm memories that they are wowed and amazed by the awesome figure skaters that brought the show to life. Welcome to the Southern Crossroads, a Southern charm and good old fashioned fun as Dick Pope's motto had said, if it's not fun, back with it. 
So Southern Crossroads was designed as a happy mix of quaint shops, eateries, and lively entertainment set in the architectural style of the old song. It's the kind of place where new friends and fun are made at every turn. Here you'll find such exciting attractions as the Captain Robin's Flying Circus, which draws gasps of amusement from eager audiences as things are always looking up. After the circus, you can stroll over to Carousel Cove. When you walk through this gateway, you'll enter an amusement area designed expressly for the little ones, including a special antique replica carousel. Young guests enjoy exciting kiddie rides such as the parachute, Red Baron and Delta Kite, and even win prizes at the Boardwalk game. Cypress Gardens was presented a Feathered Follies review show with macaws, cockatoos, Amazon parrots, and other feathery friends performed an amusing and intricate feats. Laughter and learning flock together in this comical, informative show. Most everyone had seen a model railroad before, but few people had seen one as extraordinary as this. It's Cypress Junction, one of the most elaborate model train exhibits in the world that was featured in Cypress Gardens. Seven different regions of America are meticulously portrayed by thousands of replicas of figures, people, buildings, trees, and other details to achieve impressive humorous, and sometimes startling effects. More than one and a half tons of plaster were used to build miniature rocks, mountains, waterfalls, lakes, and rivers. There are nearly 400 buildings, 4,800 human and animal figures, and 4,500 trees. 12 miles of electrical wire carry current throughout the display, and 13 miniature bulbs lighted. Keeping the locomotives chugging up the 1100 feet of track is the hobby of all volunteer Cypress Gardens Model Railroad Association. This enjoyment of this model building at first is building in its second, showing it to somebody that can appreciate it so that the guests can get the best of the both worlds here. And so, Cypress Junction became its model railroad history here at Cypress Gardens. On your tour of Southern Crossroads, there was Cypress Roots, a pictorial retrospective of the origins of Cypress Gardens. This interesting exhibit includes a rare display of cameras from the 1920s to the 1970s, antique magazine covers and advertisements, a Southern Belle dress and hoop water skis used in original Cypress Gardens shows, souvenir brochures from the 1940s and 1950s, photos of celebrities who had visited the park and other memorabilia. Cypress Roots is a tribute to Cypress Gardens. Yes indeed, Cypress Roots 
was one of the greatest museums in Cypress Gardens. It's time for a walk down memory lane at When Radios Were Radios. This outstanding collection of over 300 vintage radios, about 100 of which are on display at the time which lets visitors tune in to the heyday of pictureless broadcasting to the exhibit that includes models from the turn of the century to the deco classics of the 1950s, old RCA Victor advertisements on the walls, antique microphones and Victrolas, and other memorabilia show what made this time an American broadcast history of one of the most nostalgic, which was donated to Cypress Gardens, by Weber College in Babson Park, Florida. This collection is a rare experience of Americana. Of course, at Cypress Gardens, you'll always find different kinds of animals around the Florida's first theme park. You'll encounter different animals, and you'll even get to meet them up close and personal. And you'll even have a picture taken with some animals. And children will love these animal encounters too. At Cypress Gardens, you'll always find animal encounter shows, like meeting up close and personal with alligators, snakes, and other animals, that you'll be amazed. The animal care trainers will give fully detail of what an animal to be presented, and how guests would interact with it. This is a fun and interactive show that was presented at Cypress Gardens. At Cypress Gardens, you experienced a ride up in the island in the sky. It takes you 150 feet up for a breathtaking look at the exotic quilt and color. You'll enjoy the beauty of surroundings above Cypress Gardens and Lake Eloise. This was the perfect way to walk away with everlasting memories. The island in the sky was one of Cypress Gardens most classic attractions and it was closed in the mid to late 2010s. Also at Cypress Gardens you'll always find Seeing the beauty of the gardens up close is as easy as a relaxing scenic boat ride through the extensive canals of the botanical forest. Along the way, there are trees as diverse as date, fig, banana, and silk, many within arm's reach. Of course, you'll find weddings at the gazebo in Cypress Gardens. There are many special occasions at the gazebo area. And at Cypress Gardens, when you stroll around the botanical gardens, you'll always find someone that was always there for many, many years, including today. That's right, it's the Southern Bells of Cypress Gardens which took place throughout history from the 1940s all the way to early 2000s. At every point of the botanical gardens, you'll see Southern Bells, different dresses and different faces. Even the younger ones too, 
would love to take part in being a Southern Belle for the day. Each year, visitors visited Cypress Gardens to enjoy the beauty of Southern Bells, and they love to take pictures with them so that they can treasure it very well for many, many years to come. That was some history, don't you think? During the 1930s, a new sport was starting to emerge. Water skiing was born as a novelty, but its history really began at Cypress Gardens. The world's first water ski show began at the gardens in 1943, when some neighborhood kids performed for a group of servicemen. Since then, there have been more than 60,000 ski shows, each one combining daring thrills with athletic skill and pageantry. Ah, the ski show! It is still around today. From acrobatic jumps, to spine-tingling barefooting, to aquatic comedy, you can always count on the Cypress Gardens water skiers to do their best to entertain you. And don't forget those lovely and graceful Aquamaids. Here in Cypress Gardens, much to my surprise, saw a flash of beauty right before my eyes. Light, and what a sight to see Maintaining the tradition of the world's longest running water ski show takes thorough preparation. The rigors of each performance require these trained athletes to stretch their abilities to the limit. At Cypress Gardens, you'll always find hang gliding kites. I saw those back in 2000, and those hang gliding kites that you will find during the summer months. They are launched by boat and they flew over the gardens. Every holiday season, Cypress Gardens has holiday lights that lit up in the gardens area surrounding Lake Eloise and everywhere around the Cypress Gardens theme park. Cypress Gardens was really the Florida's first theme park. Its beautification and its surroundings that made the visitors dazzling and amazed. But, as we entered the 21st century, things had changed a year and a half after September 11, 2001. On April 3, 2003, Cypress Gardens closed in its traditional form after a prolonged tourism decline. But in 2004, Adventure Parks Group came to save Cypress Gardens and turned it into an adventure park with rides. Reopened in November 2004 as Cypress Gardens Adventure Park after hurricanes struck in September of that year. Cypress Gardens Adventure Park ran till November 17, 2008 when it announced the temporary closure to turn back into the traditional form with a water park called Splash Island. 
It reopened on March 28, 2009, in its traditional form, but without the rides and the animals, as it had separate ticketing between Cypress Gardens and Splash Island Water Park. Cypress Gardens closed in its traditional form one last time on September 23rd, 2009. This really served as a memory in the mid to the late 2000s, right after the traditional Cypress Gardens theme park closed in 2003 and its adventurous form in 2008 and one year in a traditional form in 2009. On January 2010, Merlin Entertainment came and purchased the Cypress Gardens theme park to incorporate with the fifth Legoland location. Yes! That's the history of Cypress Gardens. And now, here's what happened to Cypress Gardens today in Legoland, Florida. Legoland, Florida, opened on October 15th, 2011. And it was at the former Cypress Gardens theme park site near Lake Eloise in Winter Haven, Florida. Kids and those of young at heart enjoy Legoland Florida and the Peppa Pig theme park for the little ones. And there's even a water park near Legoland Florida. At Legoland Florida, you'll still find the Cypress Gardens Botanical Gardens, which it was back in the 1930s. Tourists relive in this classical 20th century style theme park botanical gardens, which visitors nowadays can still find the greatest traditional gardens overlooking near Lake Eloise and its surrounding Legoland, Florida, and its water park and Peppa Pig theme park. You can still walk on the bridge, which it was before, and you'll see signs of every place you'll go surrounding the most beautiful gardens that nature and man could ever create. You still find the beauty of its surrounding gardens and you can still enjoy viewing the Florida pool which was there for everyone to enjoy. Nowadays the Florida pool sometimes has Legos on it that make it look like the state of Florida and yes the Florida pool still operates today and which was based from its different movies of the past. And you can still walk along the trail and you'll still find a Buddha statue that was there since years ago. Yes, you'll still find the banyan tree around Cypress Gardens. It was incredible to behold, and it was a native of India, as this remarkable specimen stands a massive 265 feet in diameter. 
The banyan tree was planted in 1936 and was awarded the National Arborist Association Tree of the Year Award years ago. And this was still a living monument to Cypress Gardens in Legoland, Florida. You'll still find some animal statues around the gardens. And the gazebo still stands to this day. It was still hosted with weddings and other special events. Sometimes southern bells appear from time to time during its seasonal time. And there's the southern bell in Legos near the bench and nowadays they call it the chapel gazebo which was still popular to this day At the Cypress Gardens area in Legoland, Florida, you'll still enjoy the views of its botanical gardens. And on your way out back to Legoland area, you still reminisce the feeling of the 20th century. It is still revolves around its surrounding gardens in Winter Haven, Florida. And that's progress. Through many memories of Cypress Gardens, you reflect on all the time you observed and enjoyed from the 20th century to today. Cypress Gardens will always be the showplace of Florida and its beauty of its gardens, and you'll still enjoy the greatest as it did years ago in its beautiful Florida's first theme park in Winter Haven, Florida. <laughs> that was so much fun exploring the look back of Cypress Gardens and taking a look at Legoland, Florida. But already we're running out of time. Thank you all for watching today's episode here in Around Florida. There are more Florida attractions to explore, so I'll be seeing you next time, and keep on exploring! a fan on Facebook and view my videos, be sure to visit facebook.com slash Dragon Age Productions. And don't forget to press thumbs up, like, and comment, and request. And visit the Keep Moving Forward Films YouTube channel by typing in Keep Moving Forward Films on YouTube, and you'll find the Keep Moving Forward Films on YouTube so you can view my videos and leave a question, comment, or request, and don't forget to press thumbs up. This is Mike, and I'll be seeing you in the next Around Florida adventure. See you next time. Join me next time on Around Florida, 
as we take you to the Walt Disney World Resort located in Lake Buena Vista, Florida, next to Orlando. Here you'll learn about its history and how the magic came to be and how Disney brought this theme park to the state of Florida. In this next Around Florida, you'll find out how Walt Disney World was the magical place on Earth. 